Made it. Now I done grew up on some people living their life in bottles Grand that he had the golden flash back to bigger day in Chicago Some people like the way it feels, some people want to kill their sorrows What is up everybody, welcome back to another video, my name is Tim Watts And in today's video, I'll teach you guys on how to make a GFX pack So I really do hope you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to hit a like down below Maybe 100 likes would be appreciated, but if we can hit 70 likes, that'd be absolutely insane guys But yeah guys, make sure you check out my streams, I'm doing it daily guys Well, not me, but like other people streaming on my channel I'm giving them a chance to grow, so if you guys want to join my Discord server A link will be down below, or if it's not already made, it might be in my next video And yeah guys, make sure you follow my Twitter down below, if you want to buy some um, designs from me, then you can do that. If you want to get some stocks from me, I'll give you some custom made stocks. Um, but you will have to pay for them, obviously, because I won't give away free stocks that I've made plenty of time on. So, yeah, guys, make sure you check out Ali Tism down below. It'd be amazing if you could subscribe to them. And let's start with this video. So, the first thing you're going to do is open up Photoshop, guys. If you don't have Photoshop, use Photopia and I'll probably will leave a link down below. You can also make a GFX pack with that, but you just need to find like you can open up PSDs and stuff. That's really cool. You can do it from a website, all you got to do is photo PR, I'm not sure that's how you say it. I'll leave a link down below for that, and yeah, let's get started with this. So, first thing I'm going to do is click File, and then New, I've already done this. Um, I have the new version of Photoshop, um, but it might just be File, New, and then you have to type in Width. Make sure this is on Pixel, guys. Width, 1920, Height, 1080, that's a 1080p thing right there. Or if you don't want to do that, do 1280. And then 720 at the bottom. I was gonna keep it like it was. And then press create. And the background um, thing doesn't matter at the moment. So I'm gonna click X or just let, uh, if I press X, it's like a shortcut to change these colors here. Or I can just click on them. So I'm gonna click on black. And I'm gonna press Alt backspace and unlock the layer. But if Alt backspace doesn't work for you guys, just double click on here or right click blending options. And then go to color overlay and pick normal. But then I'm gonna make sure it's normal 100% opacity. I'm going to change it all the way black, like so. So any of those ways do help, so make sure you uh, make sure the layer is not locked. So guys, from here, now you want to make your thumbnail, but I'm not going to make a thumbnail because it will take too long. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use a random uh, stock. But yeah, guys, say this was my thumbnail of the pack. I will call this Close. Um, so they have to close it but then what I'll do uh, from now is I'll basically just uh, click control hold control and click the layer below and press control uh, G control G and that'll group it or you just click these folded down here if that don't work and then press control J and that will duplicate it and press control E and you can name this like some weird stuff we're just gonna keep it like as a group for now and then this is going to be like the layer, the view and layer. So we're going to make this. So press Control Shift N and that will make a new layer. You can name this. Uh, just don't matter what you name it because we're not going to use it that much. And then we're going to press Alt Backspace to do that. We're going to take away this group rule here. Uh, it's really easy to make this, guys. I'm, I know I'm making it look like really hard to make. But you just put the opacity to 50 or maybe 70. And then you want to go to this layer here. Name it like Back In. And then what you're going to do is lock it so they can't like move it around and so they know not to take it away. And then what you can do from here is filter, uh, wait I need to unlock it real quick, filter, blur, Gaussian blur and put that to around 3. And then we'll go to filter again, blur, motion blur, put that down, it's like 7. And then, as you can see, it makes a really cool effect. And then, what you can do is hold control and group these together. So, you still have this layer up here, guys. That's cool. And then, you can just control E on that so it's safe. And we can call this um, close. And then, we can call the bottom one keep open. Or you can call it something like back in screen or um, don't take this away or don't touch me and stuff like that. Um, so, now what we'll do is click. Just click this folded down here or control G that just yeah groups this one. So what we'll do here is just press uh, we'll call it open. And now basically uh, how you open it is just click this little folder thing here. 
Now what you can do to it is just put like loads of stocks in there, so I'll teach you how to do this. And I do have many graphics pack guys, but I don't think the links work on them anymore. So I will be making a lot more graphics packs guys, and sorry for that little vibration there. So now what I'm going to do is just put in a stock. You can get this from going on the internet and writing in uh, flares or particles or abstract stocks or something like that. But I'm just going to keep it simple and just load in the image from my PNGs again. I'm just going to load in this stock now and um i will uh, in fact i need to close this real quick and then i'll pull it into the folder i'll just drag it and when it has that so like square around it rectangle i'll just place it in there like that and as you can see it's all grouped in there and now you can call this stock and then press ctrl j on it again g i meant ctrl g on it and then it'll group it and then put stocks and bang we just made our layer and Basically, make sure it's hidden. And when they go through it, they'll open it and basically just run it through. Let's imagine we have like 15 of them and they're all our stocks. So, um, basically, you open it, you go through them like so. It'd be a bit laggy because I'm recording. And as you can see, we've made like a little uh, GFX pack there. So, that was so simple, guys. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed something um, out of that. And you can obviously... Make some new layers, like make this layer here and call it lights. And do the same thing, just find lights. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'm sorry it's like really simple, but that is basically how you make a pack. And just spend your time on this, guys. And price it if it takes long, like um, if it takes you like at least a month to make. You want to price it around 15, 20, and put it on sale fight. I will be making a video on how to use sale fight and all that stuff. And as I say, follow me on Twitter, guys, if you want to buy some designs and buy some stocks off of me. And I've been your boy, Temple Arts, guys, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Peace out.